Holographic display. It's always been a trend from a very long time. Holographic, hologram, holo. This all means the same and this creates a really good impact in smartphones world, in computers, in TVs, in projectors and nowadays we are also thinking to make a holographic display out of a keyboard. It's something like a projector of keyboard comes uh, in in front of you and you just type over there. It's really interesting but what is the scientific fact of holography? We need to understand that first. We all have seen uh, different kind of projectors in everywhere like in our colleges, in our school to project something or whatever. But the matter is that whenever you're projecting something, you have to have a paper or a screen or a cloth or anything where you're trying to project this. And this needs to be really clear and washed and whatever and purely white so that the color density, the dynamic range does not affect by the, uh, you know, dirty clothes or anything like that. So the matter is, what, if, what is going over here is we are projecting something in something. We are projecting lights, different kind of 16 million light in a projector or in a cloth or something like that. But over here in holographic concept, what happens is we use the aerosols. It means the particles, little, little particles which are floating over here and there. We can't see them but they are already here like air. You understand what I'm telling? Aero particles. And the holographic display concepts comes from this aero, aerosol or aerodynamic particles where we project the lights over the aero particles or aerosols and we get a display kind of thing like that. You know, how is this possible without anything, without uh, any kind of uh, things we are projecting something. It's not possible because projector needs a medium where we are going to project. So that's a holographic display made of. And well, to be very frank, till now it's really an afterthought. It's not even invented properly. But what we can do is we can make it by using After Effects like the VFX you ever see in Hollywood movies or whatever. So yes, we are going to make it today. After finally, after maybe one month, I one month back I have revealed that yes, I can do holographic display and now I'm going to reveal it properly. Anyways, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you forgot my name in case can remember, hey this is Sharna when you're watching Kyle of Cynthia, let's jump the video. Cause I can fly Okay, so now I believe we are ready to go and let's turn on the After Effects CC 2018. Well, the first and foremost thing for always you're going to do in After Effects is create a new composition. Well, I prefer it to be custom and use this uh, 23.976 frames per second. It will really give you a very cinematic effect. And the last and not the least is the duration. Well, I don't think that, okay, let it be three minutes, whatever. Okay, and select the background color as black and hit okay. And then you'll find a composition like this. And then again, click and then import files and uh, Yes, and uh, hit control and select this. No, no, not this one. Sorry, select this file and import. I will be importing it later on. Well, now you can check it out what actually the file is. As you have seen, this file this is uh, from the, my previous video. Well, I found nothing can be more. Well, I found. As you can see, now I'm going to import in the timeline. Yes, and let it be render. 
Well, I found nothing can be more interesting, but well, I found nothing. Okay, working fine. And now, what are you going to do? We are again going to make a composition. Yes. Okay. Now, in composition number two, we are going to import this file. Screen record and drag into the composition and resize it. If you have a mouse, please scroll it to resize and then again fit it into the size. Okay, I think this is fine, I guess. And then what we are going to do is we are going to take this composition number two and oh no 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 we are going to go to the composition number one first and then grab this composition number two and just paste over here not beneath the main video but over the main video as you can see first composition number two then we have our main video now if we play you can find that both are uh, working simultaneously like Well I found nothing can be more interesting but showing you a holographic display composition and showing you no. Well I found nothing can be more Now the point is that you will never find that this as a holographic display it's something like a normal screen record right So how you are going to turn it into a holographic display that is the main part now what you're going to do, you're going to make this effect 3D and you will find some axis like this Y axis, X axis and you can eventually move this by using these excesses like what I'm doing right now. The, the, another thing which gives you a more, you know, 3D kind of holographic kind of effect that is go to this rotation and turn it on and now yes this is the magic of after effects now you can set it as well as for your requirement like and let's turn it off let's say Now it's up to you how you're going to adjust it. It's absolutely your creativity. But yes, it's based on this. Now I guess it's really fine, of course. And next, 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 what we are going to do is yes, or we almost set it. Yes, I think it's fine. Next, what we are going to do, we're going to click right over here and then transform and then scroll down and you'll find opacity and just drag it yes it will vanish up but we don't need it to be vanished we need to be some extent it's visible but not properly so that we can see what is happening in the foreground or as well as the background so i think uh, 60 uh, 60 is enough Yes, but now still it's not looking like a holographic display because whenever I as I told you that it reflects uh, using this uh, aerosols or air particles so for this we need a reflection item or a light source so for this we are going to use this and and don't worry I will leave the link of this particular footage in the description below so don't need to worry about that and now just click on it and then uh, go back and select this file and import now as you can see that this is imported and we need to drag it right on the top and you will find a you know screen like this so now what you need to do is just click on this toggle switch and hit this normal to add see properly fixed 
nicely maintained colors are also accurate and you can usually I'm sorry we should turn it off first okay and then you can resize it reshape it like this you can drag it and fix it over here this works fine as you can see right there you will find the light source which is coming and then on the top you are getting the holographic display so that's how you're going to make this holographic composition and yes that's how I made it also so hope you enjoyed this video and that's for today Hey, if you enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up and if you have any questions or queries regarding this any step jumps you think that you're not getting it please feel free to ask me in the comment section below it's already there it's free and also one thing is free which is subscribe button please hit that subscribe button and please like it because it gives me more motivation to make this kind of videos anyways hey this is Shornavo you're watching Paradox India shining off and I will close you in the next video